Can they be forgiven? That is the question being asked today about the virtual entertainment agency based in Singapore, V Reverie. This English language based VTuber agency entering into 2024 with eight talents and since then one of them going on hiatus and six of them graduating, leaving just one active talent, that being Nova Awakami, receiving a brand new outfit at the end of last month and releasing a brand new cover song this week. It has not been explicitly made public as to the exact reasons why those six talents earlier had graduated from this agency. V Reverie sending out on February 28th this public apology, but also not naming specifics. As then at noon Eastern on April 1st, that's right, April Fool's Day, they would tease their next generation of VTubers. Two days later, posting a new chapter begins, introducing V Reverie's third generation, Guardians. Both of these announcements receiving backlash from fans. In this instance saying people still don't have their Christmas merchandise. You haven't even been to your own Gen 2 server in over a month. You haven't answered people's pings here or in said server, emails, DMs, anything in over a month. You lost your entire second generation and now this. Wow. This user adding, hey V Reverie, care to explain why you are now scamming your own fan base by removing the quote unquote non-expiring download links to voice packs, as well as why you have not responded to repeated communication attempts for a month now on both your Discord and your website. Further users reacting with, I am surprised the Gen 3 talents haven't run for the hills. I know I would have. I wish them the best of luck, though. It seems they will need it with you. Another user remarking, you can't save this company. Alongside, there's no way they did this on April Fools. As here now, we have five new talents. And as tradition, I will be butchering numerous pre-debut VTuber names, including the Angel of V Reverie, Ariel Yuriko, the local main Rat Master, V Reverie's Estella Starfall, alongside their Force Dwelling Weasel, Fury Ferntail, Playful Wolf Demigod, Kamiko Renona, and the Unstoppable Flame Knight, Scarlet Flame Heart. Users going on to say, just a reminder, do not attack these girls for being a part of V Reverie. They have nothing to do with the controversies and were probably locked into contracts before it all went down. Good luck to the talents, because you will probably need it. And also, wish the things were different, but unfortunately, I won't be supporting these girls. Until things change with the company, they won't. I won't be supporting this company at all. As these five talents are set to debut this Saturday, April 6th, and this is now bringing us over to Brave Group's US-based agency, V4 Mirai, now featuring brand new members in their banner, and who are set to debut on the same day. Saturday, April 6th, these four new members already releasing a debut song, Neon City 143, those new members of V4 Mirai being Elias Anono, Dr. Nove, Rim Kanashibari and Yumi the Witch. And that all as also today, Brave Group's European-based VTuber agency, Globy, has further announced debuts of eight new members. Two groups of four set to begin debuts on April 12th, that beginning with the boys, including Komiyama Ambrose, Vance Van Creed, Wilhelm Vanderbos, and Hioma Kohaku, and next the girls, including Kiri Kilovolt, Rhubarb Custard, Bonnie Barkswell, and Alicia Dalatano. As further today, we turn to the queen herself, Kizuna Ai. Kizuna Ai Incorporated sending out this notice in three languages, this being a resignation of the company's advisor due to expiration of contract. Saying thank you for your continuous support of Kizuna Ai Incorporated and our projects, we would like to announce that Nozomi Kasuga, who has been contributing to the development of Kizuna Ai Incorporated as an advisor, will resign at the end of her contract on March 31st. This being the original Original talent behind Kizuna Ai. Taking to Twitter to elaborate, as quoted, I am pleased to announce that I have retired as an advisor to Kizuna Ai Corporation. I have been planning to leave Kizuna Ai Corporation since its establishment at the time I was going to sleep, but I continued to help out for a little while after the sleep. We've been exploring and discussing ways to continue our relationship, but I felt strongly that I wanted to bring things to a close, so I decided to step down at this time. There were many times that I felt inadequate, but thanks to all the people in involved and everyone who supported me, I was able to experience many things and grow in many ways. I am truly filled with gratitude. Without a doubt, iChan has been at the center of my life these past few years. I'm so happy to have met iChan. I am her voice model, but I'm not her person in the room. iChan will always be iChan even if I leave her. I'll be waiting with you all for the day when iChan wakes up. Thank you very much. He's now I now having been on indefinite hiatus for over two years now, originally stepping down from activities back on February 20th. 22nd, 
26th of 2022. That final appearance concert featuring a thousand VTubers and over 132,000 viewers. And next we have production Kawaii's Lethe Bonapucci sharing Yeehaw Partner, being sent this important notification from YouTube that their monetization was not approved. This VTuber sharing, okay, funny story, my request actually wasn't approved the first time, so I literally had to create a video to beg YouTube to please rethink their decision and let me be their partner. What is this toxic relationship? And then adding this screenshot, they didn't even watch the video, they just want to make me beg. Production Kawaii now releasing acrylic stands for her generation, now available on the Production Kawaii booth page. And now back with V4 Mirai, we have Komari. That's right, for April Fool's Day, Komaria has this new look, saying thank you for coming to my first day of school, but later sharing, Komari made a bad decision to change her name on Twitter. Elon Onichan, please do something. This plaguing numerous VTubers alike days later. Idolian's Kony Confetti remarking, I can't change my profile back. All while we have this report, Frog VTuber arrested for numerous accounts of arson claimed it was quote unquote silly new hobby. That is AN Project's Zumi Dakumi changed her account to Frogston County and later saying rut row. Being given this warning from Twitter, your profile is under review. No new new changes are allowed to name and profile photo during the review period. As here also with Phase Connect, we have Hatsune Miku, that actually being the account for Hime Mia Rie, set to attend the upcoming VTuber Expo Vexpo with other members of Phase Connect, and tweeting out, um, guys, I can't un-Miku myself for a while, so let's just pretend I'm still Hime. Chisaka Airi as Chisaka Dudri still, showing that later, Rie's account was suspended from Twitter, and remarking, I can't believe Hatsune Miku of Phase Connect got suspended for being a fraud. That is next, we have this restricted Twitter account that belonging to the CEO and founder of Idol. On April 1st, simply tweeting out this geographic coordinate, which so happens to be against terms of service on Twitter.com. Many believing this to be a teaser for the next generation of Idol. Some believing that generation may have a Wonders of the World theme. As also with Idol EN, we have Kai Saikota, the swaggy dragon god. This co highlight VTuber tweeting out, I love my Kohais. I love my Kohais very much. Then including six colored hearts. Kai further replying, it's just a rainbow heart, haha, -ha, not indicative of the number. The always photogenic Kai seen here and sending out this announcement saying from today going forward, I will be changing my Oshi mark to a dragon. Going forward, I want a lot of my branding to be dragon related, so this felt like the most natural consequence. But don't worry, Nimby will still be around. Thanks for understanding. This dragon theming being questioned as immediately after. Kai would be seen on stream with these cat ears and paws, and even proving herself to be a Discord kitten. Kai also remarking, holy sh**. Renako Bellrose Myoshi, that technically being Idol Ian's Ren Penrose, now achieving 700,000 YouTube subscribers, and on April Fool's Day sending out this important notice, please do not watch today's stream. This bozo got access to my streaming accounts and won't leave me the F alone. It's like a crypto scam, but worse somehow. God save us all. Links below so you know where to avoid today. Idol sending out this tweet come to the surprise debut of our newest talent, the one and only Renako Bellrose. Let's Let's have fun, Desu. Ren replying, stop that, and then very clearly playing the part of Renako Bellrose, but sounding so different, and with such a different personality, a few viewers were legitimately fooled. Idolian's Poco Raccoon later saying, I had the pleasure of making art for my Kohai's debut. Please go support her, Renako forever. And just as it was getting good, it ended. Renako reminding you all, it's never too late to donate. As after that stream, this idol would be no more. And also, no more is Loon Tide with Project Kavai. That generation of VTubers made up of two members, including Mikazuki Mai, being given these farewell messages and saying it's a bit jarring and I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I love you forever. Well, further, we also had Irie Guinevere with Project Kavai joining Mai in graduation. Staying the past one year and 11 months has been a whirlwind of an adventure for me. With the last bit of magic left, I hope that our paths in this great big world will cross again. After saying thank you for being by my side on this journey, 
journey. I love you forever. And lastly, remember, we're always under the same moon. I'll always be by your side. And also closing up shop on April 1st was Sony Music Entertainment Japan's Prism Project. While alternatively, Sony's two VTuber groups within Japan, those being Versant and V, would go on to announce that they are joining together their talent rosters alongside their management being transferred. Versant on April 2nd sending out this notice of management change affiliation, stating we are pleased to announce that effective on April 2nd, the management affiliation of each talent with Versant will be transferred to V. Former Prison Project member Iko Hoshifuri remarking Verse talents are moving to V. They're still and will always be great friends to me and the other former Prism members, so I hope you will all continue supporting them. While former Prism Project member Pina Penguin also clarified V and Versen will merge, but they will still be the same amazing talents. I'm so happy I was able to be friends with them and would continue to support them. Prism Project themselves on April 1st sending out this notice, confirming as of midnight JST on April 1st, Prism Project has ceased operations. Thank you to all the Prismers for your wonderful support these past three plus years. We sincerely thank all the talents for their hard work, dedication, and creativity, and their time at Prism Project, and wish them the best of luck in their future activities. 16 of the 18 Prism Project members continuing on as indie VTubers, with one member going on indefinite hiatus and another graduating. Kosobame saying, not a goodbye, just a see you later. And I mentioned this in my final stream, but just wanted to reiterate, even though I'm not streaming anymore, I will still be around to support my friends. I love them too much to stay away. Adding on April Fool's first order of business as an indie, the real reason I've been gone. This being echoed by Pina Penguin, stating I'm grateful for the unforgettable journey with Prism, forever cherishing the memories and the incredible talents who became family. I'm also so proud of what an amazing community we built together, excited to carry on, spreading love and joy as we embark on our indie journey. And further stating, just want to say thank you all staffs, management and Prism, V, Versa and Talents for all the great memories we've made together. This is not a goodbye, but a new chapter to our stories. Prism love. Further, we had Mako Samashima reacting to this image posted by Omiya Emma and saying, crying currently. All before the end of Prism, giving out this Donathon reward, a cover of Creep. Chikami Yoshino also offering up a cover song release before the end of Prism Project. Stating, here is the last gift to an agency I've dedicated so much of my life to these last three years. Going on to release a cover of Comet, as also formerly with Prism Project with Sara Nagare. He's Serpent Storyteller, turning heads on Twitter with this post, first order of business as an indie. My company is dead. I don't want to graduate. I only want to entertain. See my streams. Click here. As just for the end of Prism, Sara's generation, Gen 4, would receive brand new outfits. Sara saying, have a look at my new reference sheet. I hope this can assist you in either creating fan art or just noticing all the amazing detail that was included in the outfit. That's seen in motion here, along with all of the toggles. Makoto K1 offering up this showcase, having also worked on the brand new outfit for Naki Kamazuki. Seen here showing off her brand new outfit that is worked on by her character illustrator, Nana Kagura. Makoto K1 offering up this showcase of the new outfit. As lastly, with Gen 4, we have Nan Anon. Showing off her new look here and saying, as promised, here is the key art for my new outfit. Thank you everyone who came to my last Prism stream and a huge thank you to my mama, Yu Capricio, who made me look so amazing. I will forever be grateful to have someone so talented as my mama. Non further posting up the reference sheet and Makoto giving us this showcase, complete with all of the alternate looks. And that's not all, as Wiki is here with had the honor to animate Nananan's end screen for her new outfit debut. Had lots of fun working with Ufric. That being Ufric of Hollow Cure Composer fame, stating I did this art and concept for Nananan's loading screen for her shiny new outfit. Collab with Wikitunes, who did the animations and all the eye candy to make this dazzling as could be. Non further saying, I made overlays for all of Gen 4's outfit debut. Views, I might consider opening up commissions for these sort of overlays in the future, so I would like to get on VGen. And non further sharing this quote unquote funny story, stating, I might have effed up on YouTube stuff, and now I'm a bit barred from opening up memberships and stuff for another 32 days. Whoopsies, tihi pero. Well, it's a good thing I'm on break for a month. I knew I was going to F up the transfer process somehow. And further now with Phase Connect, we have Pipkin Peppa, aka Slimekin Slippa, seen here in all of this bouncy goodness, that modeling done by Say, and illustrated by Face Connect talent manager Cece. Pippa, after a slime karaoke, offering up this wallpaper, saying, Behold, it's Slimekin Slipzilla. Also stating, It's been three years, so I've cleared my Twitter block list. I want to get better at letting negativity wash off 
me and not holding on to any of it. While she is holding on to this and saying I found something in the wild, all while Nyaru would find this in the wild. An unintentional Pippa spotting at a Hot Topic in Texas. Pippa saying, please record and take pictures of yourselves at Hot Topic with my t-shirt and tag it. Pippa further sharing this checkout cart and stating something else snuck in the cart somehow. One of those items being a very sus Fuomoko Dakimakura. That as on stream, Pippa would shop for VTuber merchandise, much of it being highly sus, including off the Lewid store. Lewid today with Face Connect launching an official collaboration for a Pippin Pippa hoodie. Lewid also posting new fan art PC rubber keychains available for pre-order at Lewid.com. These will also be at Off Kai. Lewid this time last month sharing Pippa talking about Face Connect's contract on stream. When you get a contract at Face Connect, management will talk you through each part in a mandatory meeting. You can have your own representation present if you want. Talents can ask questions, get information on each part, and negotiate terms. But there's no negotiating with this. Pippa sees monkey, monkey is gun. The artist Alchi hit me with this Hellboy inspired piece. That monkey being none other than FaZe Connect's Jelly Hoshiumi, your alien idol princess, seen here offering up a yif. Vexpo confirming her attendance. And now finally, Jelly sharing this. Behold, the alien idol princess's official reference sheet is finally here. Jelly saying, please look at me to your heart's content. A Jelly standee also seen here. This user sharing left the house to get a break from VTubers and look what I found in the wild. Yeah, I tried to buy them. No, they weren't for sale. Jelly on Cat Day also saying the catification of Jelly Hoshiumi Nya. That look echoed here by Gelatin Enjoyer. Jelly reacting with, this is so pretty, everyone please look. Gelatin Enjoyer also offering up this piece later as the weakest Hoshihomi would offer up this wink to hashtag Jelly Doodle. That art seen here on this special girlfriend blew you up with a homemade ASMR roleplay. All while this trend with Jelly kicked off. Numerous artists either making Jelly smoke or drink and despite her protests, it would continue. And due to now deleted comments made by a certain Fishman CEO, she would also go on to be mixed with a monkey. Face Connects Dizzy Dokoro remarking I say we start a new fan arc where we draw Jelly Hoshiumi as a hard-boiled detective who fights crime after the loss of FaZe Invaders and who also smokes. That iteration also seen here. Yurga King going even further, taking this quote from Jelly of, I'll put it, a cigar asset on if you make it, saying it sounded to me that Jelly really wanted a smoking asset because she loves smoking. So here it is in 2100 by 8,000 pixels. Not stopping there. This artist later saying, may I present to you after many days of learning what it means to be truly hard-boiled, hard-boiled Jelly assets. Next with Face Connect, we also have Amanagawa Sheena. Seeing this post of 19 years ago today, the PlayStation Portable was released. That news turning Sheena to dust. This face connect talent turning into a crab tuber and even being a part of Base God's VTuber posting. Sheena sharing, my female viewer percentage is dropping after begging women to watch me. Why? Alongside man, the artist leaked my skeb artwork for my next high quality ASMR. A continuing problem with the commission site skeb.jp, wherein even if commissioners request for the artwork to remain private, the artist may still post it to their social media. This happening to a certain unnamed VTuber as their graduation artwork leaked out on the artist's social media months before their actual graduation and was, of course, immediately seen by numerous followers. Lastly, with Face Connect, we have Ulrika remarking mindlessly munching on bread during stream that I realized was moldy after a couple of bites and unironically getting food poisoning was not the plan. As what was hopefully not moldy was this birthday a cupcake. Urka remarking, here's to Blue Bear aging another year. That's right, April 1st is her birthday, sharing this screenshot from Twitter and saying, why are my birthday balloons malfunctioning? Urka going on to release birthday merchandise, including birthday Kuma plush, alongside a light box, standee, and more. Silva does art, offering up this Blue Bear stretch. Urka remarking, make sure to stretch regularly. Very important. Agamata also offering up this Uru fashion. Well, next, Urka would share, does any 
anyone else punch their bladder area to see if they need to pee or is it just me? <clears throat> Bringing us further to Face Connect's Leah. Seen here in this artwork with Uruka. Leah saying further, don't ever forget the OG Face Connect Yuri. We are the founding fathers of the lesbian nation. As friends, of course. Uruka replying, yeah, you tell them, Leah. Strictly platonic. The two of them seen in this shadow play artwork entitled Be Gone in Pure Thoughts. Those two who history will remember as close friends seen together in this Guruka artwork. Uruka replying, my Gru legs. And lastly, today we turn to Lucius Merriweather. This Astraline dog tuber remarking my studio produced the official Persona 3 webtoon for Sega. Alongside sharing having KFC with the team before 3D debut. That 3D debut going perfectly as planned. Oh yes, nothing out of the ordinary here. No technical difficulties at all to speak of. Mary afterwards saying thank you. Going on to dance up a storm. That 3D work seen here. Originally designed in 2D by Dogtuber Uni. With Mal remarking, I was in charge of modeling Mary Weathers 3D model as part of Mofu Workshop. Mal adding, I put my entire p into making this model and my guild members did too. You all should watch it. It's not just a regular debut. <laughs> As, uh, that is all uh, for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord as we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. <laughs>